Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is just going to be a short follow-up on the video I posted a little while ago about um, using Remix with Superbase. Uh, my first correction that I want to make from the video was that it, the guys who did it are not from Facebook. <laughs> They're the guys that uh, did React Router. So I definitely want to make sure make that correction. Um, second thing I want to talk about is this video, I, uh, what I've done is I've integrated uh, Tailwind into my Remix application. I've added some code to show you how to basically post records and save them to Superbase using Remix. And I started down the path of showing you how to upload a file uh, to Superbase using Remix. However, there appears to be a bug with uploading large files. Basically, it just times out and it doesn't work. But small files do work. Um, I will include with the video a link to the discussion in Discord. There is a workaround how someone's figured out how to basically patch the code to get it to work. Also in Discord, there's a discussion about them uh, doing re more research on the bug. I'm not really going to post a video on how to do it until um, the uh, code has been patched appropriately. Uh, what else is there in this video? And I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a follow-up. Um, as I said, and I'll do more once the uh, patch is added to the code. And this is just going to be another walk through the code again. All right, so let's get to the code. Let's move this out of the way. Put me down here in the corner. And uh, the first thing that we will see is um, that, where is it? Let's well, let's just walk to the app again. So I have my basic um, login, and then I have uh, the ability to create an account. So you can uh, create an account with Superbase with this code. And then uh, also, I apologize for the dark mode. My laptop immediately goes into dark mode after a certain amount of time. Um, then you can log in with your existing account. And right now, I'm just querying a group of records that I have in a Superbase account that I've set up. Here's the UI for the upload file, but as I said, I'm not going to touch on it until. Um, it gets resolved, um, but I'll basically show what the code should be. And then I've also added the ability to add new records. So I'm basically showing how you can post a form. I'll just put anything in here. I'll just put my name and uh, description and the state is DC. And I can save a new record and then where did it go? Yeah, here it is down here at the bottom. So it's, it's basically saved a new record. And so let's look at some of the code that supported all this. So if I go back to my application and I look at my routes, and if I go to my new record route, let's get this out of the way. You know, once again, everything, it's about uh, basically just posting your form. And so one of the reasons I always do my style last is I think it just makes everything else very noisy. It just crowds up everything. So basically what I've done here is I have my form wrapping. So I got my form up at the top there. My form ends here. And then I just have my inputs. So I got the input for my name, the input for my description, the input for my state. Then I have my button here. Type is set to submit. And so then on submit, it will basically trigger the default action for the page. So I'm not passing anything else magically to it. And so we come up here to my action. Um, I get my form data and then my form data, I get my fields, I get my name, I get my description, and I get my state. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm ensuring, I probably should have done this on the page load, probably makes more sense. But uh, what this is, maybe I'll, I'll move that for the next video. What this is doing is ensuring that I have an authenticated session with Superbase, otherwise it throws an exception. And I think on throwing the exception, it reroutes you back to the login page. Once again, I do need to check. Um, and then down here, I call my Superbase client and I insert the record. Let's go into uh, in auth session so I make sure there's nothing magical that I'm hiding that's going on in there. Yeah, I should have shown this. So what I'm doing here is I'm checking to make sure that I have the session cookie, make sure that it has the access token that I'm looking for. Um, if it doesn't, then I throw an error, which I should be catching and redirecting on the other side. But um, down here, you can see I set my auth session using that access token. And so that's what allows Superbase to work. 
So that ensures that when I get here and I'm on my Superbase client, that it's set up appropriately with the appropriate user and it actually does the insert. This is just some console. This is me doing old fashioned debugging. I can kind of move that out of the way. Um, otherwise, if there's an error, then I just redirect back to the home page. I'm oh, sorry, if there's no error, I um, redirect back to the home page. Otherwise, I return this data. And as you can see, I'm returning data from my action and I'm using this use action data hook. And so I get my data. And then down here at the bottom, you can see if I have an error, it'll kind of display the error message. And so you'll see what the error is. Otherwise, if everything works successfully, like you saw, you can see here that it just redirected me back to the home page. And so that's kind of what I've done to insert the record. As I said, um, I added, let's, let me log in. So I've added this, I'm gonna work on my style a little bit. My buttons aren't the right size. Um, I've added this page here for upload file. I, I'm here, so I'll, I'll show you what I got so far. Well, so I found that after a little bit of fiddling, I was able to kind of get the file upload working. And as long as I use small files, everything will be successful. So I figure I will show you what we got. So um, let's clear out some of this upload file to get it straight. And well, first let's talk about uh, what we did in Superbase. So in Superbase, I created a bucket called images, which is right here. And it's empty right now. And to make sure that I'm able to add items to that bucket, I need to create some policies on it. And so this is the uh, policies that I've created. And it's basically saying all images are publicly accessible. Um, so on storage objects, select for anything that's um, bucket ID equals images. Anyone can upload an image and anyone can update an image. And so I could add the delete one on here, which would then allow anyone to delete. So basically all, you, all this policy is doing, you have to pass it a SQL query that will return true. And so this will always return true because there's a bucket ID that equals images. Okay. So that's the super base stuff. And then we get back to our code. It's the same pattern that we use inside of Remix of a post action. And so if we go down to the bottom here, we will see that um, I did make this change and I added to my loader here. If I don't have session on my um, file upload page, it'll just redirect you back to login. And why am I, oh, this is still called login. Let me fix this. It doesn't really matter, but I just like to fix it. Upload page. All right. And so at the top, I'm gonna to use my action data and you'll see I'm gonna use that down. Let me clean this up. I'm gonna use that down here at the bottom to display, to display potential error messages that I get back. Let me format this a bit, clean it up, all right. So in my page, why am, right, okay. So in my page, let's go to it. So let's uh, log in and switch to my upload file page. I don't know why I had that oh, login up there. So let's change this. Upload, uh, get it, I'll upload. I can't even spell, O, A, D. And then I have my form here. I could use a little bit of style, but we're not gonna focus on that. And then I have my button. And I have my input type of file with my ID of my file. And I have my upload, and then down here, what I'm doing is, if my action returns an error, I'm rendering my error message. And if my action returns good data, I'm rendering the information on the file that got uploaded. Okay. And so then uh, other things are important, make sure you use this file, this encoded type here. Otherwise it'll throw an error. And then I have my submit button and on submit, I'll call my action. So let's go to my action. So inside of my action here, this is my upload handler. I will get back to that later. 
So that what happens is it comes in and I call this parse multi uh, parse multi part form data. I pass it in request and I pass it in my custom upload handler. And so inside my up upload handler, if the name of the object that's getting passed in is not my file, then I move on. Otherwise, I just log out the name, so I get it, and I'm going to process it. And so what I'm doing here, I think I can pass a stream in, but I didn't test it. I just worked with the buffer because that's what I saw in other examples. And so what I'm doing here is I'm reading through the stream. I'm getting a buffer, and then Superbase client allows you to pass a buffer as an up, um, as a parameter to upload. If you hover over the upload here, you see... You see, it says it'll process a readable stream. Maybe I'll test the stream later and see if that works okay, but I know that this works. And so I'm saying Superbase client storage to my images bucket, take the file name it got passed in, take this buffer and upload it. Now here's how I'm handling the errors. If I got an error back, I need to throw that error. And so then what will happen is down here inside of the, uh, not the upload handler, but inside of the action, once the error is thrown, it will come all the way down to here. It'll catch the error, and I pass the error back as the action data. And then if you remember down here on the bottom, for my action data, if I have an error, then I write out the error message. So let's go back up and do the happy path. But if I execute this successfully and I get a file, uploaded and and there's so if our error it does this if there's no error it's going to execute this code this up this upload handler has to return a string so i'm taking the data that i get back from fire uh, not firebase from superbase which is the key for where the image is stored and i'm stringifying it and passing it back as data so then what what will happen is now in my form my git file field when I do a form git on my file, it will return the information that came back from my upload handler, which is all the information on the file that was saved. And then I take that and I convert it back into an object and I pass it as form data. Sorry, not as form data, as action data that will be returned. And so that means that since the action data is getting returned down here, if I have action data, then my file was uploaded successfully and I log out the key. So now let's see if this actually works. So, and also, as I mentioned before, there's a bug currently right now that um, it cannot upload large files. So right now I'm just gonna pick two files that I know are small. So if I log in and I go to my upload file page and I choose a file and I know this screenshot is very small. And so I select this, click open, Click Upload, and you can see my file was uploaded successfully because I got the uh, key back. And so now if I go to Superbase, and let's go to my bucket, Images, let's refresh this. And here is a screenshot that I, why does it say text plane? Hmm. I probably could pass some additional data, but this is the, uh, this is the file that I just uploaded. You can see there's a timestamp and there's the information on the file. Okay. I will do a couple of things. I will leave, I usually write a blog post that goes along with everything. So I will add to the blog post these SQL scripts that I ran here to create the policy. I'll also have all the source code in the blog post, so you can check all that out also. Uh, hopefully you found this enjoyable. When the release is patched appropriately, so large files can be updated, I will try larger files, and I will also try the stream approach, and I'll post another video. Happy holidays, and thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Bye now.